Well, good evening. I am addressing you in my capacity as Minister of Foreign Affairs of Brazil. Uh, October is traditionally the month with the busiest schedule for the Security Council. In October, the Security Council adopted seven resolutions and a presidential statement. The first of these resolutions concerning the issue of Haiti was, adopt, was adopted on our first day in the presidency of the Security Council. Brazil always sought dialogue, the aim of finding compromise among Security Council members, always focusing on the human aspects of conflicts. Brazil has concluded its presidency today. However, we'll continue to engage in conversations with the Security Council members with a view to achieving compromise on the pressing and grave situation in the Middle East right now. Today, we kept hearing concerning developments on the ground as we've worked hard with the E10 to achieve an agreed text on the need for humanitarian pauses and release of hostages. Uh, these developments and the risks uh, related to them require additional time to be properly assessed before we decide on moving forward with another draft resolution. We hope that the Security Council members will find a way to unlock decisions on the Middle East. As I highlighted yesterday, the Middle East continues to be the most thwarted issue on the agenda, with one-third of the votes cast against matters related to the region. Since 2016, no resolution is passed on the question of Palestine. As the human crisis unfolds before our eyes, this pattern in the Security Council must change. I repeat, there can be no rescue of hostages or humanitarian aid under shells. As I mentioned yesterday in the open debate on the matter, it is disheartening to watch the conflict claim lives of so many innocent people and not be able to reach consensus on the need to stop human suffering on both sides. In the context of the current deadlock in the Security Council, the 10th emergency special session of the General Assembly convened last Friday on the principle of uniting for peace sent a strong message calling for a humanitarian truce leading to a cessation of hostilities. The ongoing crisis between Israel and Hamas has mobilized much of the Security Council's attention during the Brazilian presidency. Several meetings were held on the issue, including two emergency meetings on October 8th and October 13th. On October 24th, I presided over the quarterly open debate of the Council on the situation in the Middle East. The significant number of ministerial attendants on the occasion revealed the concern of the world with the human crisis unfolding in the region and the threat to spill over. On October 30th, at the request of the United Arab Emirates, I chaired another emergency uh, session to discuss the dire situation in the Gaza Strip, when we heard very disturbing reports on the situation on the ground by the briefers, as well as many calls for the Security Council to act. Throughout this period, there were multiple attempts to pass resolutions regarding the situation in Gaza. Four draft resolutions were rejected by the Council, one Brazilian, two Russian, and one American, either through the use of veto or by, falling, or by failing to secure the minimum, the minimum number of positive votes. Along with representatives of the elected Council members, the E10, Brazil has led efforts to negotiate the new draft resolution that calls for the urgent establishment of humanitarian pauses. As long as we remain at the Security Council, we will continue to work for a responsible answer to the dramatic human crisis unfolding in Israel and Gaza. The world is waiting for an equivocal decision of the Council that calls for the end of human suffering. 
as the current president as the current president of the Security Council, Brazil has been working to prevent an escalation of the conflict, protect the civilian population, and alleviate the dramatic humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip. I thank you very much for your attention during this period of our presidency. Thank you. just need to know where the opposition comes from. Was it about the wording, the ceasefire or truce or cessation of hostilities? So many people talk about the U.S. opposition to this. Others talked about Russian opposition to this. So where exactly was like the opposition coming from? Well, all these aspects are still under discussion in the council, in the council, in the closed consultation. So as of now, that's all I can say. Mr. Minister. Yes, because yesterday we just asked to uh, one of the U.S. ambassador what he thought about the resolution that you're discussing. And uh, Mr. Wood said that he didn't see anything and he was skept skeptical. So how, uh, in this discussion, did you show that the resolution to the Americans and did they discuss to, with the U.S. how to make this resolution in a way that they can uh, approve it? Well, we discussed with all members of all other 14 members to try to find a common language that would fit all the needs of different countries. And so far, it's not been uh, decided, it's not been possible. So we are still working on that right now. And tomorrow, from tomorrow on, as members of the Council, we will also uh, contribute to this discussion. Thank you.